Hi there, I'm Sierra from Western Digital, and in this video, we're going to continue with troubleshooting when your WD MyCloud home device is not detected, not found, or shown as being offline. Let's focus on ensuring that you have reliable public DNS settings on your home router setup. In the previous videos, we've tried performing a factory reset, analyzed your device's LEDs, checked your network connectivity, ensured the firewall settings are not the problem, and established a static IP address. If none of this worked, let's check your DNS settings. Sometimes internet service providers change their DNS servers. If this happens, you'll know pretty quickly. Every website you try to go to will end up with a site not found error, and your computer might even say no internet. You wouldn't be able to visit any websites at all. The easiest way to prevent this is by using a DNS server that is less likely to change. The most reliable one would be Google's public DNS servers, because they never change. Routers usually allow us to configure a primary DNS server. That would be the go-to that the router looks at first when trying to find a website. Routers also allow a secondary DNS server in the event that the primary one is unavailable or not responding. You may even be able to add an alternate DNS server. In this video, we'll be using the IP address 8.8.8.8 to connect to Google's primary DNS server and 8.8.4.4 to connect to their secondary DNS server. Your cable TV or internet provider's DNS server IP address can be used as your alternate. Keep in mind that these procedures will vary from router to router. Consult your router's manufacturer or your internet service provider for assistance. Let's get started. Log into your router as the admin user. Locate the IP address, networking, or DNS server settings. Add Google's public DNS servers to the router's configuration for the primary and secondary DNS server entries. If your router allows it, you can also add the alternate DNS server IP address from your internet service provider. Even if you have room to enter more servers, a primary and a secondary is all you really need. Save the changes you've made, restart your WD MyCloud Home, and restart your computer. If your device is still not detected or is showing up as being offline, proceed to the next video in the series. We hope this was helpful. For more how-tos and tips, visit us online at westerndigital.com/support. Thanks for watching.